Hell no. Nah. Okay, what's up, y'all? You already know you are backstage with Jack Boys. Rolling at Dreamville. Man, it's going down 2024. We're sitting here with some of the, the best actors in the game right now. Oh, I received that. Pop it. No cap. Pop Gail it. Bean, Pop Malcolm Mays. It's lit. You already know Brie Renee, Nat Green. Award winning. Award winning. Award winning. Hey, put some respect on my name. Yeah. No, girl, it's Put yeah. yeah. that on. You got to pop that shit, no? Yeah. Hey, I did that shit for the city. And let her. This one for you. Yeah. yeah. We love that. No, we was just talking about Nav, Nav from the east side. Are you from? This is what I want to ask. It's being that y'all from the city, what counts what side you from? Is it where you went to school at or is it where you like grew up in? Let me go ahead and call Amaretta before we get this conversation. <laughs> oh, the shade. I mean, if you <laughs> was born in the toilet, just say that. <gasps> no, where you from? Don't say that. I'm from L.A., South Central. I ain't got no problems. Okay. Oh, so Jungles. even in, in L.A., what do y'all classify where you from, where you went to well, school? L.A. is different because L.A. is bigger than some small countries because this account is huge just like you got Atlanta Metro and all that you know but if you're not really from LA unless you're from LA City okay and that's it's like that's different I'll never say I don't I don't come up to people and be like oh I'm from Atlanta I'm from the east side I'm from Stone Mountain okay. I went to Stevenson High School I got an S on my chest me and Jim went to the same S school you know what I'm saying like yeah. you be like I went to Tuck you know what I'm saying I do rep we're not doing I do that you we came from a uh, era when we repped our school when we repped our yeah. side of town Absolutely. like it's different over here I still say you I'm from the west bus side. Route, all that comes into play. Like, yeah. hey, what train station you well, go to? LA, you do that too. Helen and Delow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a that's a pride we take in just being wherever you from in the city. Yeah. One thing we were just talking about too off camera is like how Atlanta it really breeds you to like believe in yourself yep. and Back. just take chances and like really go for it. I know growing up, both of y'all like what what. What was that point in y'all career where you was like, dang, I'm right, really could be an actor? Like, that don't, cause you know that sound like a crazy dream. I'm not gonna lie, in Atlanta, so right, like other cities you go to, I feel like the celebrity and the wealth gap is so far apart. But in Atlanta, you touching, you rubbing, el we all a celebrity. Absolutely. You can have nothing going on, <laughs> nothing popping, not have no career in anything. You can still be in, you could be in middle school and be like, yeah. I'm her. Yeah. So for me in Atlanta, I remember I was um kicking kicking shit with like my homeboys from the South Side, from Color Pot, Joel, all them. And I rubbed elbows with T.I. I was young and I was like, I'm in the same circle as T.I. I'm Absolutely. her. Absolutely. Yeah. So that let me know like I could be, which is crazy because this is like tip, like I'm serious tip. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm in the I'm in the room with T.I. I could be whatever I wanna be. Yeah, it is it's still the problem. Wait, that shout was... out to Tip though for being an inspirational yeah, person who it. allows that that level of um, equity with yeah. people who he just meets because he doesn't get a lot of he doesn't get a lot of um, love for that actually. Like how much he doesn't make people feel little, you know yeah. what I mean? Because it's very easy to be big, but it's very hard to remain big and make everybody else feel like they on the same you know thing. Absolutely. And, um, not it's not hard for Gail because Gail's amazing, but the rest of us. You know, that's a very beautiful trait. I, I, I had a different experience, though. I never really, um, L.A. is funny because people think if you come from L.A. that you automatically Hollywood. Like, but it's the furthest thing because there's a literal di freeway that divides us, mm -hmm. like, in our wealth and in our experiences from the other side. So we grow up next to, like, abject poverty, next to abject wealth. Yeah. So it's it seems like a wider gap. So close, yeah. but so it's, far it's So away. far, yeah. like yeah. I, some of the homies never even been to the beach. You feel me? So for me, damn, it was um. <laughs> that's what that's that like crazy. saying folks from Hunter Homes so, never been to uh Buckhead. Right, but, but it's real. But it's <laughs> like, crazy. But, like from my area, I'm the only person to ever kind of do what I like. One of the few people to ever do what I did or or make it out at all in anything. Yeah. But you think because you from L. A. that you be all in the mix, but that not it would really. Be more accessible. Yeah, but I always, but I also got lucky. I had a community, a family that was always like I never thought that I couldn't be what I wanted to be. I always knew I could be what I wanted to be. The question was how long, not if. It Your support. Long of like your community as yeah. I'm sure y'all experience of who pours into you, who you around, who you surround yourself Correct. with. That means a lot. Whether it be your family, whether it be your friends, Correct. whether it be people you just following after. Cause I ain't gonna lie, even with y'all, like I used to run up after and follow and be front row and center of like everybody who operates around 85 South. Yeah. Like I used to be at Cloud Nine before it was old lady gang. Oh damn. In the basement. Yeah. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I used to be there. Yeah. Like looking like, hey guys, I'm in school right now, but can I just 
watch? Can I just listen? I used to follow Rodney Perry. I used to follow the Tyler Chronicles. Yeah. I used to follow Fat Man. Fat Man yeah, Deezy. Deezy. Fat Man Deezy. Shout out to Fat hey, Man Deezy. Shout out to Fat Man Deezy. Yeah, he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Los. I used to follow all of them. Chris. Set it off. Set it off. Watch out now. Set it off. Set it off. Okay, this is okay, okay, getting history. a little too. Y'all going to have to give me an encyclopedia oh, and an album. So, my bad. We I'm Atlanta with so these I'm real lost. Atlanta comedians, not just Atlanta, though, these comedians that we saw, like she said, we had the privilege of growing up or under and watching and witnessing. Oh. Now they are doing it in arenas. But that's a fraction. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Really, like, at that level. Yeah. That's dope. So that's we, dope. But it's just like you said, it gives you the confidence Lose. you could do it. Yeah. When Los won, yeah, man, man yeah, I, felt, I like, felt like Atlanta had won. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah. Huh. Like, it's That's seeing that, it's seeing T.I., it's seeing Los, it's seeing these people that makes me feel like, oh, I can do it. Yeah. I can be. So that was what it did for me. Yeah. But, Gail, like, you being, I, I, I say this, like, the character you portray with Wanda on Snowfall, like, that. In itself, like that's bigger than like that's like that's a worldwide type Amen. shit. Like, yeah, true. Like, oh, see, true. But to be from Atlanta, oh, yeah. that makes it even better. I was yeah. like, yeah, we got to watch this every week. My son's hey, going hey, here. Hey, every. Er, er, Listen, I love Snowfall. He know when I when I, he was already on Snowfall before mm-hmm. I got there. He was like, "If you want to roll, it's yours." I said, <laughs> "No, Malcolm, I want to get it on the mirror." Well, she of said my she wanted to get it on her own. He was it like, was crazy. "It's, it's that was like, up for you look for looking out." Because listen, if hey. you want me to be on P Valley, you know, I look. Hey, look. Hey, what Make you need? Call. What you tell want, baby? Take a, <laughs> tell Katori, I'll take it. But I, I literally said because I was next to John when I said it. John was like, "Oh, you don't know this this young lady I met before who's coming up for the role." And I was like, oh, no, that's Gail Bean. She's going to kill it. That's what it is. I don't know who else that's in dope. there, but that's it. That and vouch. he was like, well, if she wanted it, it's hers. And I called her, and yeah. she said, no, I want to get up in front of him and earn it. And she did. She I was on like, some. She earned that shit. I was on mm-hmm. some nigga shit. Nah, I should have been like, give it to me. <laughs> and then, listen, for all the black people watching, don't get it out the mud. Don't stand on the merit of your work. No. You it's take however you don't get there. Don't stand on business. No. It's don't a stand lie. on business. <laughs> business it will will crumble. Actually, but actually, that is standing on business. Oh, yeah, that's how business works. Then you put in the work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because yeah. anybody, show anybody want to get on hand, I'll take it. it. Yeah. Show you earned it. I tell you, like most businesses are started by some form of nepotism. We the only people that don't want to shit. All that. right. Yeah. And that's <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, okay. nasty nigga. Look, soon as you See, start look, talking you about that, people sticking the together. together. They hurt. They, they trying to pull the cords and shit. Yeah. 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 Right. right. See, listen. Right. But now, even you on uh, Raising Kent, like, how you portray your character. I was just about to say that. Because you made me mad as fuck. I'm <laughs> drinking and oh, doing it. Like, like damn, every time so you, you get your life together, you, together, you want to. I was in a restaurant. I posted that. Can't restaurant, get so right ass, like, nigga. Keep the drink away from me. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like, dang. <laughs> whole like, time. This nigga can't his liquor. Look, right. whole time. Whole time. I don't drink. I don't smoke nothing. <laughs> Does that, Man, I was about to, but I was about to say that, that was, you played a really, um, <laughs> and not even just the, the alcohol part, but your role was really emotional. Yeah. Like, like, how did it? How did you? How were you able to tap into that? He the only one Thank that could you. touch rock and make her feel that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Ooh, my baby. Because I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. Only oh, reason why you were alive. Oh, I thought I was dead too. <laughs> <laughs> they do not give us the script. No. <laughs> like, whoa. Well, okay, I made it. They waited okay. to the day. Like, they don't even give us the script until like the week. Like, uh, oh damn, it's actually crazy, but. You know, it's funny. I really appreciate you acknowledging the emotional landscape part mm-hmm. because, you know, we get caught up in the action and the drinking and the drugs, but we never really talk about, especially as black men, the emotional landscape. That's a and, lot. And, yeah, and the opportunity cost or the negative cost yeah. of the things that we participate in, of the traumas we participate in and that we perpetuate. And I think it was very important to to show that side of it. It's like, it's not just smoking shit, drilling shit. It's about showing what, 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 what it costs to do yeah. those things, to participate. Yeah. If you can, if you have a soul. Cause so. I really felt like you was remorseful. Like you yeah, really didn't yeah. like killing you people. Like, damn. like damn, this shit fucking but, up my but, mental. But the reality is, if you if you've ever been incarcerated or in proximity to people who participated in certain activities, then you know that everybody ain't no sociopathic, brain dead killer, yeah, murderer. Just, like, but here's the thing: yeah. imagine it's a lot of men out here, black men. Yeah. To speak to what you're saying. Who? They really be messed up behind the things that they have done, yeah. right? Like I, I can't remember who it was demons. that we yep. seen um, break down on social. Was it G Herbo or was it? Um, I don't think dirt. it was. It a little dirt. It was one of them that broke down literally on live or in an interview um, about missing a brother. Yes. Yeah. And it's like they, 
that's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy. And we do, as black people, go through a lot of trauma that we have normalized, but Correct. we don't realize that it's trauma. We we done made it cool, so yeah. it's like, yeah. shit, nigga, to survive the streets, but it's like the streets still be scarring you something. But that's but one thing I will give to Atlanta, you know, not that, not that it's better anywhere else, at least there's an attempt for community. And with LA, we still working on that. I, I love home, and we and we might have had it when we were first coming and migrating from the South, but I miss that. And that's what I admire in Gail, in y'all, in 85 South, in like the community, the sense of that blackness. And I think LA, we got a lot of sauce, and we got a lot of things going on, but if we can get that community part right and protect each other, I think that it'll be a very beautiful thing for the black community. Yeah, I feel like I all black lie. cities should be like that. Y'all really, like, even for you to be on here, you know what I'm saying, for you to be on here, like, it's a whole thing yeah. with, like, 85 South has formed a collective of, like, we take care of our own. And yeah. I think that's yeah. an Atlanta thing. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Where it's just so beautiful to yeah. see and witness. Yeah. 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 I love that. And shout out to Los. Shout out to all of them. D.C., Chico. Chico. Yeah, they do. Because they really put their talent. That D.C. on that Damani, that Forever Lasting. Hey, we just talked Hey, and the video you made the song it. even better. It was hard. That yeah, go it was hard. hard. Yeah. No, he hard. We he told them about that. They, they hated you now. It's one or two now. They hated yeah, me? Yeah, we ain't gonna just. At first. But yeah, come <laughs> but on. You can't, no. hate, you can't yeah. hate Gail too long. That's I the thing. Yeah, we can hate you. We ain't too hate you, but we really wanted you to get your shit together. Yeah, come on. Like, man. we was. Okay. Man, when you okay. went to that house. I'm sorry. Right. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. So we don't know. For her, you not sorry. You sorry that Wanda. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. We're going to get off Wanda. We're going to move on to P-Valley and to Roulette. I yeah. just want to say I'm coming over to Blue Flame because we're going to celebrate that NAACP at the Blue Flame. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. We got to do that. Shout out to 85 Stop. We're going to pull up in Atlanta. As long as I get my 10 pieces. At Blue Flame. As long as I get my 10 pieces. Yeah, let me know. Whenever you ready, I got the bottles. We got the section. Big booty holes. And my 10 pieces. Hey, we done. I just want my 10 pieces. We got lemon pepper wings. We got it. Yeah, we got it. I'm careful. Yeah, I'm careful. That's the real Atlanta. Yeah, that's the real Atlanta. We got it. 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 Pass that shit around the goddamn club. Yeah. No, you need to. You need to. We gonna have nah, a whole photo. We thank y'all for having us. We appreciate y'all pushing up, man. We love y'all. Yeah. Roulette. Let them know where to follow you. Follow, follow both of y'all. Yeah, being on everything. Yep. Yeah. Malcolm Mays on everything. Yeah. Make sure you stream his music though, cause. He fat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do got a song with Lil Baby. That is Okay, cool. that's what's up. But hey, look, it's my favorite song that he got, he got a song with Lil Baby called Not Luck. I'm yeah, going to pipe right. him up real quick. But he also got a song called Sticks and, Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones may break my bones. Well, I might have to okay, to Sticks and Stones. Yeah. No, that's yeah. my shit. That's, yeah, that's my yeah. shit. Hey. Well, you, you know, you know. just sit back so late. Like, you ain't gonna tell us, tell us yeah. about the music. When we brought up at Luna, you supposed to be like, well, I got one with Lil Baby. Right. right. That would have did it right there. We did well. We did very well. It was yeah. a good song. Like, yeah. it was dope. Nah, no, that's Future was up. there when we recorded. It was actually a very yeah. Atlanta session. It was dope. Nigga, it, was it don't dope. get more Atlanta than that. Okay, so you be in Atlanta. <laughs> no, I'll be in Atlanta. Okay. You know, I well, I'll yeah. let you in Atlanta. At Blue Flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that. Very Family that's business. Said, yeah. That's black said. power. That's, that's a black dollar. Black, 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 black dollars on black dollars. Yes, ma'am. Sure. <laughs> no, for sure. That's what I was saying. Growing up, seeing all them, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could do it, too. Yeah. 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 But we, we know y'all got to go, man. We, gotta we go appreciate y'all. Yeah, we right. got to go keep it at Got to go right. see right. That's how you keep it at Atlanta. We love y'all. Thank y'all. You were great. Thank you. I can't